Are you looking for a phone that protects your freedoms? Well today we're going to be talking about a phone that claims to do just that. No, not the Pine phone, not the Librem 5 either. No, we're not going to be talking about any phone that is actually good in today's video. Today we're going to be talking about the Freedom phone, which is, in my opinion, an absolute scam. Be sure to stick around until the end because I have quite the revelation about this device. So indeed, today we're going to be talking about the so-called Freedom Phone. This is a phone that's being created by Eric Finman, who became a Bitcoin millionaire as a teenager. I guess that they must be affected by the prices of Bitcoin falling, because they're now making a phone that has the main selling point of pandering to conservatives. I suppose that everyone has to keep the lights on somehow. So what exactly makes the Freedom Phone unique? Well, apparently it's a completely uncensored phone. How exactly other phones are censored, I have no idea. But to be honest, it seems to me that this is more of a dog whistle focused at conservatives who will buy into anything with the words free speech slapped onto it. So you might be wondering, what features does the Freedom Phone have? What exactly is the phone like? Well, the website and the official video are pretty vague about that, probably because this whole thing is a scam, more on that later. Apparently, it has an uncensorable app store that, in Eric's words, doesn't ban apps, which seems like a really bad idea. Every app store has to ban apps at one time or another. Even stores like F-Droid won't accept apps that are non-free software, and Google often removes apps from the Play Store for being malware. So Eric is either lying or about to create the worst app store in history. Another feature that the phone has is that it is filled with preloaded apps, or in other words, bloat. Doesn't everyone love bloatware? Apparently these preloaded apps are going to be some of the most popular banned and unbanned conservative apps. So I guess that bigotry out of the box is a selling point of this phone. Finally, the last two selling points on the Freedom Phone website are that the Freedom Phone comes with its own operating system called Freedom OS, which isn't very freedom respecting at all because there is no source code available for it as far as I can tell. It also comes with a privacy guard feature called Trust, which you will probably need given how many non-free apps come bundled with this phone. Not that this feature will protect you from the terrible security that most conservative social media sites tend to have, but it's something I suppose. Also, the site comes with the bold claim that this phone wants to create a future where free communication is not banned by big tech, and they also want to bring back free speech forever. How exactly creating a phone is supposed to help with this is unclear. Not that it matters though, for as evil as big tech are, they're not banning your free communication or free speech. If they did, that would be one less user that they could data mine. Trust me, they don't want to hurt their profit margins like that. So with all of those amazing features talked about, how much is this phone exactly? Well, this clearly marvelous piece of free speech technology will set you back $500, a clear steal I know. Jokes aside, that really is pretty much all we know about the Freedom Phone from their website. They do also have an official announcement video and several conservative grifters shilling for their phone, but they don't really say anything that the website doesn't. And I don't know how much truth there is to this, but apparently every person who's promoting this phone gets $50 off every phone sale. So I'm pretty sure that a lot of these conservative grifters will sell anything because they're getting $50 per phone. But once again, do take that with a grain of salt. So that's pretty much everything that the guys over at Freedom Phone have to say. But I definitely do have more to add here. Remember that revelation that I was talking about? Well, it turns out that this whole thing is a total scam. Shocker, I know. The Freedom Phone is actually little more than a Umi Digi A9 Pro, which is a Chinese phone that can be bought for a little over $150 over on AliExpress, which makes all that American flag branding a little bit ironic. So by buying this phone, you're basically paying $350 over the Umi Digi A9 Pro to have some conservative apps pre-installed on a budget phone. Also, remember that trust feature that I was talking about? Well, an open source operating system based on Android called Lineage OS has something very similar. So I wouldn't be surprised if this phone is just running Lineage OS with some pre-installed apps, which wouldn't be a problem on its own, if they would actually own up to doing that and weren't charging an additional $350 for some conservative apps 
and a fork of Lineage OS. So in conclusion, that's the Freedom Phone. It should probably go without saying that I don't recommend that you buy this. It is an absolute scam. Now, I realize that I have been rather uncharitable to conservatives in this video, and I expect that the comment section are going to be filled with people calling me who knows what. But I will say, even to those people, definitely do not buy this. This is a scam. I felt the need to make this video to call out that this is a scam. If you really want a freedom respecting phone, there are plenty of good options out there. You could get a Librem 5, a Pine phone, or a Vola phone. Alternatively, you could get something like a Google Pixel and install Calyx OS or Graphene OS on it. All of these options are vastly, vastly better than the Freedom Phone, and are probably more freedom respecting anyway. And if you do buy the Freedom Phone, there is every chance that you won't get it at all, as is so often the case with these scams. So do not buy the Freedom Phone. But with all that said, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one.